Hi, in the previous video, we looked at first order passive filters. In this video, we're going to use steps to look at the frequency response of filters at different component values. With the current values, the cutoff frequency was 159 Hz. Now what would happen if you would change the resistor value? You could go into the resistor, change the value and run the simulation. But doing this doesn't give you a reference of what the frequency response once was. Instead, we're going to use a SPICE directive to run the simulation multiple times, but each simulation will have a different resistor value. So right click the resistor and change the value in open bracket R1 closed bracket. Now click the SPICE directive knob, here we will set the steps up. So first type dot step and place it down somewhere on the schematic. If you now right click on the SPICE directive, a new window will open up to initialize the step further. The parameter we want to sweep is called R1. Again, like in the AC analysis, you can choose multiple sweep types. For now we choose list. Now we're going to add three resistor values we want to see the filter response of. So for this example, step 1 will be 500 ohms, step 2 1 kilo ohms, and step 3 2 kilo ohms. Now press OK and run the simulation. Three curves are visible in the graph. But what curves belong to what value? To find out, right click the graph, go to view and then select step legend. A new window pops up which shows what color belongs to what value. So what we learn is that the lower resistor value shifts the cutoff frequency to the right and the higher resistor value shifts it to the left. Sadly, with the legend window open, it's not possible to interact with the graph. So close this window and click the label of the graph to add a cursor. The cursor will be placed on one of the graphs. Now to check out different values of the graph, you can drag the cursor around or use the left and right arrow keys for fine tuning. To check out the other curves, press the up and down arrows on the keyboard. By adding another cursor, Multiple values and differences can be checked between the graphs. If you find a value of interest, go to Plot Settings and then choose Notes and Annotations. Then choose Label Cursor Position. An arrow and the text pops up with the values at that point in the graph. Now you can close the cursor window and use Plot Settings, Notes and Annotations and Move to move this text to a better place. Right click the text to give the color that fits the graph. In the next video, we're going to look at sweeping a musical effect called the wah pedal. See you then, bye!